Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a versus video. We're doing the Innocence I Create Definition Styling Foam versus the Innocence I Create Hold Styling Gel. I've done one half of my head using one of those products. So before we get into the video, take a guess. Which side do you think is foam? And which side do you think is gel based on what my hair looks like right now? Can you make any guesses? But yeah, this was a super, super fun experiment to do. I'm definitely gonna do more of these videos. So if you have any other products that you want me to put head to head, then drop some product suggestions in the description box and I will definitely get around to doing that because I had so much fun doing this and I feel like I learned a lot. My final thoughts are not what I thought my final thoughts were gonna be, um, but you will find out about that in this video. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you find this as helpful as I did creating it. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So I was saying on my Instagram the other day how I always see those hair consultation videos, which I'm completely obsessed with, where it's like a client and a hairdresser and they do a whole haircut and a whole hair transformation and their curls just look so good after. And they always seem to be using Innocence products. The products that I hear most about from Innocence is the I Create Definition Styling Foam and I Create Hold, which is their gel. So I'm gonna put both of those to the test today. I'm gonna to do half and half. So I could end up looking crazy at the end of this, but let's see. Let's see which one of these I prefer because basically, oh my God, this is really dripping all over me. Ah, I hate this feeling. Ooh, okay. Basically, I've, I'm yet to master the wash and go. I feel like I've got the braid out and twist out mastered, but the wash and go, I just haven't, I haven't mastered that yet. So I'm on a mission to find the perfect wash and go and I'm bringing you guys on the journey with me. How much do I need? I don't know. Okay, so the left hand side is gonna be foam. See, I see people doing foam wash and goes and like using foam by itself. But for me, I'm like, I mean, I've never done a foam wash and go at all. I've never really even put foam in my hair because I think foam just feels like nothing in my hands. So like, how is it gonna do anything on my super curly hair? So we're putting that to the test and seeing how we feel about it. It kind of feels like, you know when you have a spray on leave-in, that's like a really lightweight leave-in conditioner. That's kind of what this feels like but it is meant to be a really strong hold foam. So I'm guessing as it dries down, that's when the hold is gonna come in. Cause right now it's not feeling like a much hold. Onto the next side. So I'm just gonna use one pump of gel per section. Okay, already I'm feeling a difference. I can feel the hold with the gel, which is kind of what I expected, but let's keep going. three pumps per section on this bit. <laughs> Foam is so weird, like it literally disappears into nothing. I'm not gonna lie guys, this literally feels like nothing on my hair. I mean, my curls are kind of defining. This is all an experiment. defining it is defining it just feels <laughs> like there's no product on my hair this is so weird I'm so interested to see how this is going to dry it's feeling very delicate on this side <laughs> oh god this could be an absolute disaster I could have one side that's looking really good and the other side just looks a complete mess the things I do for you guys, the things I do for you. I may not be able to leave the house all week because my hair is looking crazy for the sake of this YouTube video testing products out for you guys. <laughs> and one pump of gel. Okay, 
So for applying, I definitely prefer how the gel feels. Um, the foam feels like absolutely nothing, <laughs> but it is doing something because my curls are defined after I put it on. But this, I can feel the hold even before it's dry. Like I can feel that my curls are being clumped together and stretched out and that it's gonna dry with some sort of cast. And it's really smooth. It glides on really smooth. It's quite, th even though it's in a pump bottle, it is quite a thick gel, um, which my hair does tend to like a bit better than the liquidy gels. Um, so yeah, so far so good on the gel side and it looks pretty good. Also, so many people do wash and goes when they're still in the shower when their hair is like drenched, drenched. I've never tried that before because once I'm done washing my hair, I really just want to get my ass out of the shower and style my hair when I'm like dry and warm. <laughs> but I might try that one day and see how much of a difference it makes styling my hair whilst I'm still in the shower compared to spraying it down once I'm out of the shower like I'm doing now. Already this is looking slightly flatter than this side um, yeah, so this section of my hair, especially this bit right on the crown here, is not necessarily my problem area, but it's like the, well yeah, I guess my problem area. It's like coarse, but not curly. It, it's just a really weird texture back here. So no matter what product I use, I struggle to get a curl definition and I struggle to make it so that it's not frizzy. Um, the last, uh, the last Innocence product that, product that I use that I create curl memory actually did a really great job on this section of my hair. Not gonna lie, I don't have much hope for the foam on this section because I think I need something a bit more heavy duty, but who knows? We shall see. I'm still figuring out. This foam thing is just like a mystery to me. It's still, I think I'm, I've got some learning to do when it comes to foams and mousses. Um, so yeah, this is a fun little, fun little play around. This foam is really surprising me because this is curly for this section. <laughs> what is in this stuff? Is this magic? Am I gonna be really blown away by these foam results? Last section for the foam. That is the foam side done. Let's finish up with the gel. So we're done with applying the products. My thoughts so far from what it looks like, the gel side is definitely flatter and sleeker. Um, this side, it is flatter than what I thought it was going to look like at this stage, um, but I, you can see there is like slightly more volume than there is on this side. So I'm anticipating when it dries, that's going to be the same. I'm anticipating this being less defined, more volume, and this being less less volume and more defined. But we shall see, as you know with curly hair, everything can change as it dries. This feels, again, like there's no product in my hair. This, it doesn't feel like super weighed down by product or anything because these products are really light and I didn't use loads but I can tell that there is something on my hair. Not gonna lie, I didn't really enjoy applying the foam through my hair. There's not really much slip and I don't like how my hands feel after. It kind of gives me like a squeaky feeling on my hands. The gel, applying the gel feels very nice and smooth. There's slip, it feels very like glossy and smooth and I don't mind the feeling on my hands afterwards. Um, my hair feels moisturized on both sides. My curls are defined on both sides. I really don't want to touch this too much. So I'm just going to kind of shake my head around. Curls are defined on both sides. In terms of definition at this stage, 
I would say the gel side is a little bit more defined, but to be honest, it's not as much of a difference as what I thought it was gonna be. Let's see from the back. Oh, oh, oh. So this is foam, this is gel. Again, you can see that this side is flatter. This side has a bit more volume, but the definition, guys, I'm so surprised at how defined the foam side is. Hmm, this is so interesting. I'm so glad I did this video. So I'm now going to allow this to air dry. Um, I'm not gonna touch it. It's just gonna air dry and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and show you my final look. Once it's all styled and ready to go. Okay, so it's the next morning. I literally haven't taken this off my head yet. So we are gonna see what my hair looks like together. Okay. <laughs> oh, I always find it so crazy how my hair shrinks up this much. Right now, the foam side curls are popping, I'm not gonna lie, and I can feel a slight gel cast. Interesting, okay, now I'm touching this side. This side feels like it's got less of a gel cast than the foam side. This is like kind of crunchy. This is soft. That is not what I expected at all. So I wanna go around and stretch it out like I normally do, and then we can see the final results and my final thoughts. This has gone in a direction that I didn't think it was gonna go in. I think I prefer the foam side, guys. I was chatting shit about the foam the whole time and I prefer the foam side. Okay, let me do a little up close and personal. Right, so this is foam, this is gel. This is super shiny, super defined, slightly crunchy, um, but feeling good. This is kind of frizzy, not much gel cast. It feels really soft, it feels really nice. It feels super, super soft. But this kind of feels like what my hair feels like when I do a braid out and I use a cream where it's just like super soft and fluffy but withhold as well. Whereas this feels like what I would expect from a gel because it's got that gel cast and hold and like high, high definition. The gel side actually has more volume than the foam side, which I thought was gonna be the complete opposite. Do a little 360. You can kind of see that the gel side kind of comes up and out a bit more, whereas the foam side is kind of just straight down. So that's interesting. Okay, let's get into the pros and cons of each of these products. So the foam, when I was applying the foam, I didn't really enjoy it. It wasn't a very nice application process. I didn't like how the product felt on my hands. It gave me like a squeaky feeling. Raking it through, there's not much slip, so it was harder to apply and to rake it through the whole section and to make sure that all the curls are defined on application. The drying process, I also didn't enjoy because I felt like my hair was dripping um, throughout the drying process rather than like evaporating, I guess. I don't really know, because on the gel side, I did, even though they were equally as wet, this didn't drip and I've never really had my hair drip like that before and my whole arm was very sticky even if I wiped it off and dried it my my arm and shoulders was very sticky which I've never had with any product before so I didn't enjoy that but now once it's dried and styled I much prefer how this looks. I have more shine on this side. I have more definition on this side. I have slightly less volume on this side but I still have pretty good volume for day one. And th from the way it feels with the gel cast, it feels like this is going to get really good volume while still staying defined. Onto the gel side, the application I really enjoyed. It's such, it's like a thick, really smooth gel. So smoothing it on, raking it through was really easy. It had loads of slip. I felt it easy to rake through, easy for my curls to clump up whilst I was applying it, so that process was very enjoyable. No stickiness when it's drying, no dripping, so the drying process was fine. The results now, less shine. I would say there's no shine on my hair now. It's just like, 
My hair is naturally quite dull. I don't really have shiny hair. So this just looks like my natural hair. Whereas this is enhanced and added shine. No shine on this side. Um, less definition on this side and less hold, but more volume on this side on day one. So I feel like this is going to get very, very big as the days go on, but I do think that I'm going to lose definition as the days goes on. So despite there being pros and cons of both of these products, I would use both of them by themselves for the whole wash and go rather than half and half. Um, so these are products that I would reach to for a wash and go. So far, so good. I've tried three of Innocence's stylers and so far, I actually love them all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful and informative. If you did, please subscribe and please hit that like button and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.